these two culvert pipe sections look vaguely familiar to you, it, they're the pieces that I took out of the driveway. Actually, it was one continuous piece when I pulled it out of the driveway and replaced it and brought it here to cut it in half to see what was blocking it. And I've got a video to that. I'll link right here that you can see what I found inside. But anyway, the problem's cleared out between the individual sections and I have a use for one of these. It's about 10 feet long and it's the perfect length for this application. So I'm going to hook it up and drag it somewhere else. So come along with me and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. Now I'm just making this up as I go, but the idea I think is I'm going to take this thing and actually set it up on this uh, hook here and then strap it up to the carry-all and the idea of it sitting on this is it'll keep it from swaying back and forth and hopefully I'll be able to get enough strap force just to hold it close to it so that it'll follow me fairly effectively. So let's see what we can do. Can't be by the way. Me luck. I don't tell anybody, but I hooked it to the end of the top link there, which I hopefully it'll stay in place. I'm going to keep the carry all pretty much all the way up uh, so that the uh, this end over here stays off the ground as much as possible. Hopefully, I have enough tension to keep it there. If I lose slack, I could lose it along the way, so we'll see. I take a minute to reposition the pipe on the hitch and then line it up with the tractor again. Did I mention the pipe section is heavy? Off I go again. Will you keep an eye on the pipe and let me know if it strays from the path of righteousness? Here I am entering a whole field of poison ivy. That's a battle for another day. So far, so good. Remember, I'm counting on you to keep an eye on that culvert pipe for me. Oops, forgot about that speed bump. I 
I make a right turn here on 5th and Elm Street. This is one of the most recent sections of the trail that I have cut right along the bank of a wet weather creek bed. I hope you can see why we love the wooded areas of our property. It's just beautiful. Have you figured out what I'm going to do with the culvert pipe yet? And don't cheat by reading the title of the video. If not, you'll find out shortly. Okay, I've got to make a sharp left turn off of Elm Street onto Oak Avenue, and I don't think the pipe will make the turn gracefully without help, so I'll have to manually align the pipe to make the turn. Speaking of graceful, how about this dismount? last, we have arrived. All right, I made it. Now let me show you where we are and what the plan is. We just came down one of the newest sections of uh, the trails I've been cutting, which uh, comes to here and then takes this right angle and goes off that way. And then right here we have what is the shallowest part of a, of a gully. Uh, sometimes dry, and wet, it runs as a little creek when it's uh, rained a lot. Uh, but uh, this gully separates this section of the property from that. And I have trails over there, trails over here, but not really a good way to cross between them except up by the fence uh, where there's a, a trail that goes all along the road before the gully starts to form. And somewhere in here in the middle, I wanted a, a crossover so we didn't have to go to the perimeters to get from one side to the other. Now this shallow little gully here is perfect for it. And I'm gonna drop the uh, culvert right in here. we cut some of those weeds out and clean it up a little bit first. Uh, then bring some scoops of dirt and pack it in underneath and then more scoops of dirt to uh, mound up over it a little bit and call it done. First I'm going to clean up around here a little bit. Then this tree right here will have to come down. As a matter of fact, not so little skinny, but it's pretty dang tall actually. So I've got to bring that down and uh, then fill in this little spot right here where it's kind of a wash a little bit. That'll happen when I bring the dirt. And uh, then I'll have a way to get from here to over there. I use my trusty Greenworks hedge trimmer on a stick to make the first pass. I do love my tractor chainsaw carrier and tool holder, so I always have a rake with me and a shovel. Because I so often need it. Next, I'm going to unhook the culvert pipe and get the tractor a safe distance from this tree and then bring it down.
looks like it wants to go that way and I have no problem with that, so we'll do that. I hope I'm right. We'll see you in a minute. I make the hinge cut. Then the felling cut. Next, I cut a section of the trunk to get it out of the way. Then cut down the remaining piece of trunk. Finally, it's time to roll the pipe into the ditch. Just add dirt. Seeing all the way through this culvert pipe is something I used to couldn't do. Well, I got it cleared out and cut in half. This should work quite well 